Folks, welcome back to Magnus's Loot Crate. I am your host, as always, Magnus Deacon. Now, folks, this is going to be a bit of a new one for me, but I do plan on getting all seven of these. Seven, you might ask? Well, yeah, I'll explain as I go along. Folks, today, we are taking a look at the Good Smile Company Cyclion Type Lavender. Ooh. You know, I'm a sucker for the film bots, folks. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say I think there's going to be seven of these. And you might ask, why do I think that? Well, the guy who originally made these did them as custom garage kits. He made them himself. And he had seven different ones. Three that were, I believe they're called Venus Force. And four, which is the type lavender, that are Lady Roses. So, you've seen, you've seen the pictures popping up as I've been explaining this. But folks, you know what? Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Folks, here we have the Good Smile Cyclion Type Lavender in her clamshell. Now folks, I'll be honest with you, that is some fairly simplistic packaging. She doesn't come with a whole lot. As you can see, she's got a couple of spare hands, blades, a little stand. Stuff you'll see when we get more up close and personal. I'll show you in a little bit better detail. But folks, I have to admit, for a character that started out as just a garage kit that some dude was making in his garage, I really like this figure so far, just, just from looking at it in the clamshell. Now it's fairly weighty, as you'll probably see when we get to the weights, but it's definitely a nice little figure. So folks, let's go ahead and pop her out of that clamshell, stick her on the turntable, take a look at that bot mode. So folks, here is the Cyclion type lavender in her bot mode. I'm definitely digging this figure just on the fembot angle of it. Folks, as you can see, as it comes around to the back, you can store her weapons on her backpack, which is also removable. I'll show you that in the up close and personal. But I do like the now that she doesn't have any ankle rockers, but she does have that little stand to help keep her upright. So that's a bonus. I'll tell you all about that in the up close and personal. But folks, I'm really digging how this bot looks. And if they are coming out with all seven of them, I'm, I'm going to probably have to get all seven just because I really like this figure. She's pretty sturdy. She's pretty weighty. I'll show you that here in a second. But folks, let's go ahead and stick her on the scale, see how much she weighs, and then we'll take her off the scale and get a little more of that up close and personal goodness. Folks, now that you've seen her on the turntable and in her clamshell, folks, I'm just going to go ahead and start showing off accessories. First, you have her destruction manual, as always. Of course, it seems to be a rather simplified little booklet. I guess I'm going to find out here soon how useful these destructions are. She has six different pairs of hands. She's got the closed fist hands that she comes equipped with. She's got these two sort of posed out hands. And then she has these two, which are sort of the sword holding hands. She also comes with this little stand. Now folks, she's gonna lose a couple of points on the posability because she does not have an ankle rocker. I'm kind of a stickler for that. She's reasonably posable otherwise. She's still got to lose some points. However, her heel bits do swing back and forth. And that doesn't really count as an ankle rocker per se. But as it goes, it's better than nothing. And they did make sure to you know, add a stand so that 
she can stand up, as you saw on the turntable. Folks! There she is. Cycleon Type Lavender. You guys know I'm a sucker for the gun boss. <clears throat> Was it good for you? It wasn't what I expected. Now, just to show off, she does come with these two sword accessories that seem to be part of her transformation as far as I can tell. But, uh, we'll see how that goes. But, just in the interest of all things, you know, you can take the front wheel part backpack off and it leaves a couple of holes Apparently, if you have standardized figure stands, you can use these two holes to pose her however you like. And that actually, that, that's why she's not going to lose a whole lot of points in the posability. Because she does have set up for, to kind of help that along. But folks, now that you've seen her up close and personal, I'm pretty sure that you want to see her motorcycle mode. So without further ado, let's dive right into that. Now folks, the, the only way I can really say this and be honest is that is a very slick little motorcycle mode. I kind of dig it. And that slick looking shiny paint makes it look just that much better. Kind of reminds me of a sort of a cyberpunk style motorcycle I would guess which I kind of dig it if you wanted to make a diorama of, of Cybertron McAdams old cat house maybe that slick looking paint would definitely uh, add, add to the bonus material there and that motorcycle mode would definitely be a good Cybertronian motorcycle mode I have to admit it so folks I really don't know what to say. I dig I dig both modes on this, and I, I'm definitely going to be looking to get the other ones in the future if they come out. But folks, that is it. That is the Good Smile Cycleon Type Lavender. Folks, that is it for the Good Smile Company's Cycleon Type Lavender. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. Take a dip down into the comments, take a look at all the wonderful things I have down there, including Mag Magnus merch. Folks, I will see you next time. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? I 